today I have a video that I am very excited to make, even though it involves me literally sitting in front of you and talking to the camera while I look through a website that is 10 years old. And that is because someone has rebooted the Saab website from back when Saab was still making cars and they have it available for you to view um, online and just kind of reminisce or look back on what the Saab website looked like right before it shut down. Because if you go to Saab's website today, you're not gonna see anything about the 9.3 or the 9.5 or any sort of cars. It's all gonna be their military stuff and what they do today. There's no, nothing really involving Saab cars on their current website. So I will link this website at the very top of the description down below because I'm not going to go over it in a ton of detail just for the sake of time, but there's a lot of cool stuff on here. I've already spent some time kind of picking around at it and seeing what's there. This is something for someone like me who's a younger enthusiast. I mean, when Saab went out of business, I was 13 years old. Um, so for you older enthusiasts, this might not be a huge deal, but if you're a younger enthusiast like myself, I'm sure this really interests you. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So I'm right here on the main home screen. Uh, they've had ads flashing across for the 9.5 Combi, the 9.5 Sedan, and also the 9.3 and 9.4X. So it's pretty cool to see, um, especially how much they pushed the 9.5 Combi, because the 9.5 Combi was, you know, they never made it to America. They only made a very, very few amount of prototypes for them that you almost, people in Europe almost never even see. Most of them are stored away in a museum or someone's collection. But to see it in, in you know, on this website as something that's being promoted, as being sold is, is pretty cool. So starting out here on the homepage, there are a few different uh, tabs. You can see they're wishing you Merry Christmas. Um, this first one here is for the Phoenix. If you guys are not aware about the Phoenix, I'm not gonna go over it in much detail. I actually did an entire video on the Phoenix, which I'll link up in the top corner. You can check it out. But pretty much, it was a concept that Saab made with the power plant from what was supposed to be the same power plant that was going to be in the new generation 9.3 that was going to be coming out within a couple of years after Saab actually shut down. From my knowledge, it is a hybrid four cylinder. Um, with a BMW four cylinder engine and a small electric motor. So pretty cool. Um, you guys can check it out here, read more about it. It's a very interesting looking car to say the least, but they talk about it in depth here. They mentioned the E cross wheel drive system and all these other cool things. They have a little video on here too, but they also talk about their uh, independence edition, which was just a limited edition convertible and a special color with special trims, things like that. There's a uh, article here talking about Jason Kostroida, who was the Saab director of design at the time that they got shut down. Um, these last two here were very interesting to me and I did watch, there are some videos in each of these that I watched. I'd recommend you watch them as well if you're interested, but this pretty much talks about Saab's icon, they call it. It seems like it's their infotainment that they were coming out with. It seemed, you know, keep in mind this is 10 years ago, it seemed like very forward thinking for 10 years ago. It seemed like it had a lot of promise and a lot of little innovations about it that weren't necessarily mainstream stream 10 years ago that are mainstream now. So pretty cool to, to watch and, and listen about that. But lastly, and this is the thing I probably find most interesting on this entire website, is the Saab 9.3 e-power, they called it, which if you can guess, is an electric version of the 9.3. So, they have a video on this one as well, but uh, pretty much electric 9.3, it came with about 200 kilometers of range, if I remember correctly from the video, which is about 120 miles. So by today's standards, horrible. 10 years ago, 120 miles of range, you know, that's not really bad 10 years ago. So 10 years ago standards, that was pretty solid. I'm sure it would have cost uh, a bit more than the, uh, the average 9.3 would have. 0 to 16, 8.5 seconds, 184 horsepower. So a little bit less power than the uh, normal 9.3, also slower, but it was electric and that's just really cool. And um, they don't really have any other pictures of it. They do have some stuff in the video, but it looks like a completely normal 9.3 with the exception of course, when they pop the hood and there's a huge battery pack. So I was fascinated. I actually spent quite a few minutes kind of poking around on this page, but you can see at the top here though, they have their three models that they were really working with, the 9.3 of course. Everything on here pretty much talks about the 9.3 Griffin, 
uh, which is, I guess, their new trim level or just what they were promoting the 93 as, kind of giving it a new, a new name of sorts to help, you know, gather some more interest, I guess. Um, but you can see they had the sedan, they had the convertible, they had the 93X, and then they had the sport combi. So these wheels, by the way, I wish older 93s came with these wheels or these wheels were more common because they look so good on these cars. But um, you can click on each one of these and learn more, but there's nothing really crazy different that wasn't already on, you know, the 93s that were before that. Pretty cool. Um, but going to the 95 here, we'll, we'll check that out quickly. You can see they have the 9.5 combi and the regular 9.5. Now, I've been wondering what color this is right here because I don't think I've ever seen a Saab period in that color, much less an NG 9.5. So it's a very interesting color to say the least. Not sure how much I like it, but it's certainly different. Here they kind of talk about their, I'm assuming this is the icon system and you know, it's just your typical, typical, uh, you know, car website. It looks very much like any modern day car website, just promoting their car. And, and you can learn more about the NG95 Sport Combi by clicking here. It's just such, it's such a good looking car. It sucks that it could not make it into a full production. But they talk about this all here. You know, you rail cargo mat, all these other cool little features that it has starting at just under $40,000. Uh, they have another video on it as well. So there's so much that you can just poke around with on this website that's so cool. And here we have a page for the 94X, which I think is the car that Saab probably would have sold. Maybe not more than the 93, but it probably would have sold better than the 95 had Saab stayed in business, just because how popular crossovers were getting 10 years ago, and of course how popular they are now. I think the 94X would have done pretty well. I actually have done a video reviewing a 94X, so if you guys do want to check that out, I'll link it in the top corner as well. But the 94X is a super super cool car. I was looking at the pricing of this down here, you know, they des describe all of it right here, whatever. It's crazy to see how it starts as low as $33,000. And if you want to get cross-wheel drive 3.0, you know, you add a couple thousand dollars, whatever. Get the premium at another couple thousand dollars. Get the premium cross-wheel drive at another couple thousand dollars, but if you want the arrow, you're gonna be paying almost 50 grand for it. So it's crazy to see how, you know, the difference in price on those um, $15,000, it's a pretty significant amount, but the arrows were pretty cool. Came with the same motor pretty much as in my Turbo X back here, but with the 19T Turbo as, instead of the 15T that came uh, stock in these. So I think around 300 horsepower. So. Not bad even by today's standards and certainly not bad back then. But there you have it everyone. That's kind of a quick overview of the Saab website and what it looked like. They do have stuff about their military, fleet sales, and just general news over here. I'm not gonna look into any of that. And if you scroll down, they have a bunch of stuff talking about test drives and all of this other stuff down here, their Instagram, even Facebook. There is also a feature in here where you can order a 9.5 or a 9.3 or a 9.4X, which ideally you would think would take you to a page where you can spec out your Saab. Unfortunately, that page doesn't work or that link doesn't work, but for what this website is, it's super cool. Big kudos to whoever took the time to get this website up and running. And again, if you guys do want to check it out more in detail, which I would highly recommend because it's Super cool, just, you know, you're bored on a Saturday afternoon, just spend a few minutes poking around, see what's up. Again, linked at the top of the description. But if you guys enjoyed this video, found it informative or interesting in any way, please give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching.